Vitamin D has important role in calcium homeostasis and bone mineralization. Vitamin D that we get from diet, however, needs activation steps in order to be ready to perform the required function. The process starts by having vitamin D from diet. The most common form is vitamin D3, which is also called colocalciferol. This form, actually, might be ingested in food or produced in skin from the effect of sunlight on 7-dehydrocholesterol. Vitamin D is also available from some plants, and the most of the plant-derived form is called vitamin D2 or ergosterol. As mentioned, these form are not active inside the body. Vitamin D, after getting to the body, arrives to liver, where it is hydroxylated to produce 25-hydroxyvitamin D or calcidiol. This form is not active as well, and is not regulated physiologically. Hydroxyvitamin D, when arrives to kidney, is further hydroxylated by 1-alpha-hydroxylase in the proximal tubular mitochondria to make the potent form of vitamin D, which is 1-25-dihydroxyvitamin D. Activation of vitamin D in the kidney is regulated by parathyroid hormone and phosphate level. That is, parathyroid hormone causes more activation of vitamin D, and low phosphate level results in more activation. We can anticipate then that vitamin D has an effect in increasing phosphate level. And, yes, the vitamin enhances phosphate and calcium absorption from intestine and phosphate and calcium reabsorption from renal tubules. Thus, the vitamin tends to normalize low calcium and phosphate plasma concentration. In short, vitamin D increases calcium and phosphate plasma concentration by enhancing intestinal absorption and renal reabsorption. On bone, it has more complex effect. First, it enhances activity of osteoclast, thus, bone resorption, but that is to resorb superficial bone and makes plasma calcium more available to internal bone. This results in bone mineralization and strengthening of bone.